guy calling me prog can we say my name don't get give these guys any more blocks <laughs> sorry so going into game number one here we got ness versus palatino oh this is you know you don't see a lot of nesses but he is a character that is hella scary in this game man. he is explosive in every way that you could think of the term like when ness gets in especially what you saw what was going for the night is side magnet cancel he puts on big damage fast Speaking but big damage the problem is <laughs> This character of Palatina is so good at stopping people who like to commit. And you already see the way that JT Prog is playing. Uh, I see. He's, that, made, he's that allowed. The, he's the made me play JT, uh, say JT Prog. Oh, gets a two frame too, but he's going to air it out his way back on the stage. Oh, I like the spot touch from that. And one thing that I want to point out is that SDI in this game was, it's not as easy as it was before. Mm -hmm. So if you do get hit by that PK fire, it is relatively difficult to actually escape that. So he can get a confirm. Are you going to DI out this time? No, actually, told, waiting a little bit longer to get a DI oh. mix-up. That was very intelligent. Going for the side magnet, realizing the explosive flame was coming. It didn't but seem like he recovered that much, though. <laughs> it wasn't a lot, but he's alive. <laughs> True. <laughs> that, that, I mean, True. <laughs> like, you can be a stock down at 150, uh, or you can be at 151, stock, stock number three. Or you can lose it right now because back throw's not going to take gonna it. It's it. getting a little stale. And he keeps on absorbing this, but I mean, once again, you, you, he is at such a, such a high percent that it doesn't really matter. Okay. All right. Well, back here is definitely going to do it. Who needs back throw when you have, when you can just smack the hot? Exactly. Like that, right? With the lead that he was holding, all you need to do is eventually get one interaction in your favor. And he's he's gotten him multiple times, calling him out with the rapid jab on these spot dodges. I think, you know, Xerxes has got to play a little bit better on his defense because he's taking so much damage on pretty much any time he's committed to going in on Prog. You know, he really is. Prog's doing a great job of just punishing, punishing what Xerxes is doing at every single step of the way. Mm -hmm. You know, um, he, he's he's reading he's re he's reading two steps ahead, and Cersei, Cersei definitely needs to change up his style. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was definitely starting to do right there. Like, oh, see, oh that, that whole situation, for one, the counter Damn. worked out, but because he's a stock up, he can afford to drop down there and maybe take the trade. And that Prog was a drop down counter, and that was, like, ridiculous. Yeah, that just absolutely destroying that PK Thunder 2. But finally getting himself a point on the board. Man, if you can take a stop, you can take the game. Yeah, you know, definitely plenty of time still on the clock. And we've seen some ridiculous comebacks from Nessus before. I mean, PK Thunder 2 it kills really early. And if you catch him on an air dodge, might end up being able to steal out of stock. We've already seen it happen many times over from players like Foe and Austin. Like, and we'll see if Xerxes can pull off too. You know, J-Prog doing a great job of, like, actually just keeping on the pressure. He hasn't let up on uh, Xerxes this entire match. And Xerxes is just tr struggling to find a way to adapt to this level of constant attacks. Yeah, I like the fact that he committed to that air dodge on the platform there too. You know, his jump is already gone, so it makes it look like you want to land oh. in front of him. He ain't landing anywhere though. There's a whole beam of light in your way and that's going to take the first game. He just up smashed. He really just ran up and up smashed. But he knew. He knew. Yeah. Hey, it's, a, it's a positive situation no matter what. When you're a stock up like that, you can afford to catch them while they're trying to land in with that up smash. You know, you see a lot of people on the come up who it seems like they're afraid to go for a kill. Like, a lot of people like to go for just hitting a lot of buttons, push, pushing like people back, but then they don't commit to a kill. If you're stock up, throw it out there. It yeah. might hit. It was a good call regardless because it was landing, but don't be afraid to try and go Ajax for those options. Ajax is right. Ajax is actually right, guys. Don't be, and that was one of my problems when uh, when picking up Smash at first was just like, and even now to a certain degree, like, uh, I spoke to Venya, and mm -hmm. Venya was like, you know, you have to be confident in what yeah. you do. Because you can't, you can't be a good player without, like, uh, knowing that you have the ability the, to... The kill stage said it best to me, too, when I was trying to figure out what I was going to do with my character. He said, if you don't believe that your character's broken, why don't you change your character? Like, you need to always be confident enough in your character, no matter what anybody says on any list. If you don't feel confident enough in your own character to believe that they're busted, why are you even bothered to play them? Exactly. And great words from Papa to kill stage. <laughs> All right, but as we are taking it into the second into the second match, Xerxes is going uh, with Smashville here. Um, maybe he's going to try and shark Palutena under uh, like you know, under the platform with his uppers. Hey, I, I like the fact it seems like Xerxes trying to stay a little bit more grounded this second game around because that a lot of his a lot of his attempts at going for air to airs were not working. And see, there you go. So he's staying grounded more. So catching much these fires. Oh, oh. oh, he didn't roll. So <laughs> hey, wait. JT Prog gets to see another day. My heart. <laughs> Like anytime I see it happen, I, I, I start having a little bit of a fan attack. There you go, keeping himself safe there, putting out the PK Thunder, just forcing him to stay in shield. 
right? And I, and I do like it. He is avoiding. He is avoiding uh, JT Prog's backers a, bit, a little bit more. So I, I like this. Back down. Not going to do it just yet. Yeah, it going for stage positioning versus the stealing. Uh, I, I was figuring he was going to go for a forward throw just to you know not have to steal the back throw. But back throw still very strong. Yeah. He's and going for these up smashes. He's taking the, the lead ledge. now too. As opposed to down smash, uh, I'm, 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 I'm actually very curious. To I think why. he's mostly trying to see. Oh, Aftil's going to take that. He's trying I, to see this death. Uh, I think he's mostly trying to see if uh, Prox going to eventually try to teleport past them, recovering high, yeah. or try and go for something else, because then he can catch him on the other way. Also, if he mashes a roll, he'll get hit too. But you're right, he hasn't gone for a single down smash as a ledge yet. Yeah, and I mean, I. I you're, you're, you're totally right because if she does tell, try to teleport behind them, um, she will get caught by that. But I do want to see a mix up on that, you know, because a lot of times JT Prog is actually just going towards, you know, towards ledge. Exactly. The spot that I was going to get a couple of up tilts just to get Prog off of him. Xerxes, uh, this whole game too is look, definitely looking a lot better so far the way that Xerxes is playing. 100%. 100%. As he is putting on the pressure and keeping on. Notice he's not actually committing to anything. Right yep. there, as soon as JT Prog made, made a whiff something, he went in. Yep. But he's not actually committing anything. He's you gotta give credit to Prog too that, he, that he has not changed up his playstyle at all. And even with the small changes that Xerxes has been getting here and there, he's still walking away, usually with the lead uh, in most of these uh, scramble situations. If it is not broke, do not fix it. Hey, hey, yeah, exactly. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Hey, there is absolutely no point in stopping something that somebody keeps falling for. Oh my god, that I was about to Don't land in front of that, no, please, I thank swear you. swear to all that is holy if he would have landed. I would just, just walk away. Look, I'm not, like, I never get biased on a mic or anything, but I definitely don't, don't, don't intentionally just fly into an out smash. Thankfully, he didn't do it, but. Well, you know, 70, okay. Yeah, get a little bit of health back there from that explosive flame. Imagine if you got a whole lot more. That would be like there'd be no purpose I mean, of throwing that I out there figured, at all. I figured that he would have though. Like it's such a powerful move. You yeah, get a whole lot more from it. I think that's a free like fourth throw. Yep, fifteen percent or something. Okay, fourth throw. Not gonna do it just yet. Okay, here we go. That's oh, what I want to see. Oh, a good tech from Prague as well. Gonna rise with the nair. Gonna get reverse that whole situation there. Oh, Windbox not gonna do it just yet. Oh, oh. and it misses. And this one's oh, and there you go. That down smash finally coming in to get him to mash the tech as and soon instead as making him die. And I do, I, I do like that he. I, mean, I hope he didn't hear me because I want to coach. But no, no, no. He, they have <laughs> he, headsets on. He is making, he is making uh, these these changes. And as soon as those two times that he did the down smash on ledge, he made he put Xerxes in a position where he had the or dies, and he just died. And that's a good mix up in itself because sometimes you really don't want to use those tools until the match progresses. You don't want to give away all of your like your options right away because then then you're gonna get figured out. And that's a swift way to catch two out. Say the best, say the best for last, so to speak. Mm -hmm. But at this point, you know, Xerxes is acknowledging the, the fact that JT Prog just kind of mopped him that first game. So he's like, you know yeah. what? I have to pull out all the stops. Yeah, JT Prog holding his ground very well too. Going for an auto reticle on the way down and using get up attack at absolutely once he committed to that rob smash, use that invincibility to back him off. So smart, actually using the uh, using his little side man to drift forwards in order to get that grab. Okay. And just running in, getting back though, get stage positioning. Oh, yeah. he tries to read the jump. Yeah, if you caught him with that F2, he could have committed to going for a near off stage. Instead, he's going to go for another back throw, force him back off. Oh, oh good. I Do like the stall. Yeah, that worked out perfectly because you figure that he's going to try and air dodge his way through or something. Instead, goes for the PK Thunder, gets it, keeps himself safe. Hey, Ajax, look at the percentages. Oh, I know. It's pretty much dead. Oh, and wow. Now, yeah, you know, you, you know, you, you know, damn well what Xerxes wants right now. Oh, yeah, Xerxes hunting for that back throw near the ledge. But also, if he commits his, uh, at the ledge, too, Palatina back throw could catch him off guard, too. Oh, that, yeah, actually, yeah, both of them would, would kill each other right now. Is he going to go for the nair? No, goes for the two frame instead. Just, oh, and the frame trap from that was so important. Uh, yeah, but drift. didn't kill. Ness having one of the best air, air drifts in this game with that air dodge. Peek it thunder. Not going to do it just yet. Oh, I thought that. I thought Xerxes was a little bit too low to lift back air. Back gonna air. do it, and Xerxes living to see another day. What a game that was! That game number two, they're so close. Got some people popping off in the crowd for their boy Xerxes. You know, trying to amp him up a little bit. That was a hard-fought game number two. He, Great adaptation that came 100%. in from Xerxes in game two, yeah. but also JT Prox still holding his own the same way that he had game one. He didn't. He didn't waver. He didn't waver. No. It was. It was just that. Um, it, it was just that, like, you know, Xerxes just making those changes, you know? JT Prog kept on playing his style. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, to be honest, I don't think that he needs to make that much, that much, that many changes himself. Mm -hmm. I think that he just needs to be wary of, uh, of certain things that Xerxes is, is capable of. Like when he is holding that down smash at the ledge. And uh, I do like when Xerxes actually just used it he, only when Palatina was low, so she had no, op she had no uh, option but 
to recover straight to the ledge. That exactly. was very, very smart by him. Yeah, exactly. You know, multi conditioning is such an important thing when it comes to this game. It's like playing Street Fighter, but with platforms. Like, you got to play the small interactions. There's some characters who are able to get around that. We're going to be going to PS2 now. And we uh, did see, uh, one thing I want to point out is we, we saw, like, kind of like a five second hesitation before he picked Palutena. Mm -hmm. um, Yes, yeah. If his confidence is affected by that, that could that could spoil. Yeah, you don't want your confidence to waver. Like that, that last match was extremely close. He might have just been maybe stalling for a few extra seconds too to start the game number three. But oh, true. true. Uh, you, you see that a lot in uh, people who are on the come up as well. Not necessarily saying that these two are on the come up, but uh, you know, you, you'll lose a game, and they're like, "Well, it was the character, so I got to switch." Be yeah. confident in your main, if uh, because you might go to the next game and then regret it. Great wait for the air dodge. I'm for the spot dodge. Actually, all right, that PK, uh, PK flash? Yeah. Yeah, Xerxes actually almost walked away with a little bit of health for it, too, because he immediately threw the side magnet out. And, and Xerxes actually putting up this wall, using this platform, and constantly just throwing out an attack, forcing JT Pog to actually come to him. And mm -hmm. I do I do like this adaptation. He's playing the neutral game a lot, a lot more now. Yeah. Hey, he's, he's staying, he's playing the mid range especially well. Like, he's playing just enough out of character length for uh, range from JT Frog to throw these hitboxes out without taking too hard of a punish. Granted, now he is, but that's just because JT Frog starting to catch on to a little bit. And landing Dare, not gonna do it just yet. Uh, do you know if he still has the the, the Dare cancel to? Because he had some some type of Dare cancel. Oh, like, off of the platforms? Not 100% certain. Um, I, I have to recheck on that. That's but, still absorbed. Yeah, just barely catching forever. the legs on it. <laughs> Catching him with the air there. Hasn't done too many rising nares as an answer to Xerxes pretty much throughout the whole set. But now Xerxes has to respect it. Going for the frame trap yet again, but Xerxes is able to get by, getting away from that dash attack. I do like his Hamahawk option instead of just trying to make a read because he knew that he wasn't he was gonna get it. And Backdoor's gonna do it, yeah. Yeah, landing right in front of JT Frog. JT Frog grabbing him, just delivering him straight to the blast zone. Hey, here comes the nares. Yeah, there 42 we go. 42% already on the board for JT Frog. Yeah, off of one mistake, and that is definitely a salt inducing thing, like we talked about before. Salt inducing moves are so important in the mentality of a player, just tearing it apart as the game progresses. You know, a lot of the time, with the, with the cast so diverse as it is, mm -hmm. a lot of the times, the, your, the, your match really doesn't start up until you're at 50% anyway. Yeah. Well, like, I mean, if you play a big body, you might as well just start the match at 60 if you're playing <laughs> against Palatina. Let's be real. It's kind of like a Smash 4 where if you played against a Sheik while you're a big, heavy character, you might as well just accept that you're at 80 already. <laughs> But that's the thing, it's, it's a part of the matchup. And you see that Xerxes didn't seem too phased after he got hit by those nares. Like, you know what? I have to accept this. This is a bread and butter. This is just what's going to happen. I'm not going to let this bother me. 100%. As Xerxes is actually getting, getting JT Prog with the back air, but he's not he's not sealing up the stock. And he's taking damage as he's doing it. Almost JT Prog almost slapping him, almost killing him yeah, for that matter. Almost taking it to what could be a three stock lead. Xerxes is trying to just close out this first one. And you see he's starting to look for that grab, but. Frog just playing just enough out of range to not allow him to get it, which is super smart. And but you know, I think as Zer as Zerg, he's like you don't want you don't want to go for the grab too much at this point because you because only because JT Frog knows that that's what you want, you know? Exactly. What you know, kill options are one thing, but when you start giving it up too much, that is when people will play around it. That's why you need different options. But that back air is gonna keep Xerxes from going for that fair. Hey, not gonna get hit with the up smash either. JT Frog looking at a nice two stock lead, not three stocks. So right, happens, now, man. You, you can't, are, no, can't, no. can't point it out. People <laughs> die immediately after. It's, it's the curse. Yeah, man. Now we are one stock to two. Uh, Xerxes needs to find a way to just kind of just make create the wall that he created up in Smashville again. Of course, this is this is a, a much. <gasps> oh, oh, yeah. He, he, he was definitely looking to snipe a stock as early as possible. You know, if he caught JT Prog in that, I don't know if it would have killed unless he DI'd the wrong way. But that would have been huge. Alright, is not, not gonna do it just yet. But Xerxes needing to you need to step up immediately. Oh. Yeah, now he pretty much has to recover to the ledge. These explosive flames everywhere. It can grip you off the ledge. You saw he rolled out of there right away to get out of it. And great great patience from JT Pog actually just holding shield in that interaction. He said, like, go ahead. Do your worst. Exactly. You can't do anything. You know, JT Frog just committing to the facts like, look, oh, oh yeah, that right, was right, right. some big brain call as he was trying to catch him, either air dodging or teleporting back in. Sadly for Xerxes, though, it didn't end up hitting. He couldn't get the PK Thunder 2 out of it. 
And, and, and you look, look at the awareness from JT Park, understanding that he Ooh. has such a big lead. So he's playing to his strengths, making him come into him, and immediately catching him with the up air. Good stuff by JT Park. Yeah, the lead turned into a W. Xerxes, uh, you know, he's trying to find his ground again. He was trying so hard to just try and film something that could work and get some big damage. Why so he tried to go for that PK Thunder 2 swing. But sadly, Hail Marys don't work every single time. JT Prog kept it simple, he kept it clean, his defense was on point, and he was getting able to move on to Top 64 uh, tomorrow. And that's huge, man. Top 64 at an event like this, it's it, it's super stacked. Uh, you know, top four make it out of every pool. Mm -hmm. But still, you know, you want the chance to live uh, to fight another day. Exactly. You want the chance to continue to prove yourself at Defend the North. Uh, once again, shout out to everyone that supported this. Uh, Defend the North coming from, you know, like, being a very small, like, uh, Just having re regional... Everybody that no one really knew about yeah. so like this. This is you, you know, know like, one of the, the biggest uh, DTNs, I believe, so far that's come to the, date. The. It is the biggest date. You know, and, and, uh, you know, part of that contributing is uh, Ultimate being new game. But also, it's not just Ultimate. The, like, Sam Show had a good amount of entrance. You had MK11, you got Dragon Ball Fighters, you got Street Fighter, you got Tekken. You oh, had a lot Overwatch 6v6 over here. Yeah, you